Welcome. This is Mike Godwin from WinsSolution.com. I'm going to show you a simple program, a simple file or pro program with progress bar created with J HTML5, JavaScript, and uh, PHP, and also IS. Now, this is how the program works. I'm going to browse for a picture that I'm going to upload. Now, when I select the picture, I'm looking for a picture that is a bit higher. So, when I click on upload file, we see that uploaded. This is the size of the of the picture in bytes, and the picture has already been uploaded. So, if I open my file uploads, this is my server and this is the file upload with progress bar folder so if i open this upload you are going to see the picture there now let me upload another one okay upload now it has been uploaded you, you are not able to see the progress bar loading because the pictures that we are uploading has less size if the pictures are of 2 megabytes 3 megabytes and so on you are going to see the the progress bar loading now this is the code of the program now on the html side on the first page which is the index.html this is the form and the form we said that the ink type should be multi parts slash form data because it's going to accept file. Now, coming here, we said uh, we gave it the ID, the ID to be file one, and the progress bar. This is a the HTML5 tag that is used for progress, and uh, up here is where we have our JavaScript from here. From here down to here is where we have our JavaScript. Now, this is what takes the function that takes care of the upload of the file upload, while this one is the one that takes the one that controls when it is being loaded, and uh, this one is the one that prompts immediately the file is complete. Now, this is the one that is called upon. This is the function that is called upon when there is an error in the upload. Now, this is a, uh, if at all anything cause the program or cause the upload to abort, this is the function that is going to call upon. And this is the IAS request that is being sent across to file underscore upload underscore parser dot php now when this thing has been sent upon to file underscore upload underscore parser dot php for rendering this is what it does now this is a php file that's only you know php is uh the server scripting language it only has it is the application or the language that has the ability to communicate with the server so here the name the the id that we gave to that to the id that we gave here we now changed it coming here calling the 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 elements of that tag which is the file we now stored it in file one we appended it to file one so anything that is going to be sent across using the post method will be file one so coming here you can see files file one and name now this variable here holds the name of the file that is being sent across while this one holds the temporary location this one holds the the file type while this one holds the file size 
for now we didn't make use of these two in this tutorial now this is the variable that holds the error that is being prompted during the upload if if the file location is not located which means if nothing is sent upon this error this is what is going to show which is please browse for a file before clicking the upload button now after that this is a function that is being used to get the information of a file now this is the file name which holds the file name passing it into this these are this function the function is going to send return a value and in, and store it in the variable the path now coming here we want to get extension of the path now the path here has been turned to an array because the value the path info returns is an array so for that reason the path is now an array variable so because it's an array variable and uh, it holds associative arrays now this extension extension here is the key to the extension of the file so coming here we are going to pass it into this variable dollar est now coming here we want to specify a new file name we had our file name before we want to change the file name to be the current to be the file name and uh, in combination with the extension now this is the directory where it's going to be sent upon which is the uploads uploads okay now we want now to change the name of the file name of the file so we now say dir which is the variable holding uploads dot the current date now what we did here is using this date function ymd his is the year in two digits as this year is 216 it's just going to be 16 and m m is a digit of the month which is as now is march is going to be 16 3 and D digits of the day now H is the hour I is the minutes and S is the seconds now let's check our picture the picture we uploaded it has 160328 now 16 is the year in two digits 03 is the month which is March 28 is the day which is 28 now, 1, 2 is the hour which is being uploaded, 4, 7 is the minutes, and 0, 1 is the seconds. Now, it's going to concatenate it using this dot. In PHP, dot is used for concatenation. Concatenation simply means joining two strings together to form one particular string. Now, it's going to concatenate it with extension remember extension starts with dot so now this dot and the extension that is being hold is going to be concatenated with the current date now this is a function that is being used to move a file that is located in the temporary folder of a browser to the main or the permanent folder where you want the file to reside the first argument this function takes is the source which is the browser's temporary folder we can say this thing in full or we can simply say dollar file temp log because we've passed this thing into this variable now the next one is the file name the new file name the new file name the name the file will be, this file will be saved with on the permanent folder now the ch mode simply means change mode is used to change the particular mode of a particular directory 
you know some directories are being made not to be written the permission they have it's only to be read you cannot modify them you cannot write into it so using this ch mode the first argument it takes is the directory which is the directory you want to change the mode now the 0755 simply means write and read now when you say this it's going to change the mode of that particular directory to write and read whether the formal permission it has whether the formal mode it has was to read a run when you do it like this it's going to give it the permission to read and write now after that it's going to say that the file was uploaded successfully but if there is any error if there is any error during the moving of the file from the temporary location to the permanent location it's going to say copy underscore uploaded underscore file function failed okay so that is what we have for this program and that is what you can see from your browser let's upload another picture to see that it's working perfectly okay you can see it uploaded so with this i'm going to call it an end please take your time study it and use it for your work thank you for watching